is Frankie Abuzino with the Scoop News. It's being reported that the uh, Sarasota County School District decided to, not raise, but drop, drop the state uh, property tax uh, rate that the school district now has. It's surprising. I put out an email the other day from the city councilman, Fred Freeze, out of Venice, who pressed the Sarasota County School Board to increase it to fund the, I believe it was two or $220 million needed for two new schools, one being um, in the Laurel area, I think they found some property, and one more towards northern Sarasota, and that's to accommodate for the influx of people. Um, one thing they attributed to lowering it was the increase in property values and the more development that's going on out there. They also mentioned the fact that the bringing the spring training facilities to uh, for the Atlanta Braves um, will help with the emerging development that's going on in Northport. What they don't mention is with what, 40,000 houses or whatever that number is in Westfield Village, you're going to need new schools. Um, is it enough with that property tax? I think Fred Fraze took an analysis, and I believe he may have gotten it from the school board, where basically he looked at the um, amount of money new development brought in and the cost, and we were in the um, red on that. We were not making money. We were losing money. And that's when he was uh, pressing the fact that we need those impact fees and we need to increase them. It was strange how this went. Uh, basically, they're taking the rate, which is uh, proposed to be at 7.209 mils, and uh, that's a drop some, from 7.433, the significant drop. And what they, it's odd what Carol Zucker said. She's the chairwoman. She said, you know, look, we're doing this because, like I said, the new construction, the new development, and the higher home values is bringing in more money so we can do this. But then on the other hand, it's being reported that she stated that she they were made to do this by the state, um, that it's not necessarily something that they wanted to do. Um, they don't want to, the state doesn't want to be seen as raising taxes, um, so they cut the local. And I guess under the state law, the local school boards are mandated to set their property tax rates at certain levels. Um, this year's state education budget required that these school districts roll back uh, their property taxes. And that's being reported out of the Herald Tribune. Uh, so, you know, I guess based bottom line is we've seen a lot of property taxes or tax increase is, and I look at fees as a tax too. Um, if you look in Venice, I think I wrote an article last year, there was something like five. If you look at the two bond referendums, the property tax increase, the uh, property value increase, and then there was a fee increase for the waste management and then there's another fee increase for waste management again this year then there's the uh, fire fee which is a tax it's going to property ta the tax proper tax collector's office to me it's a tax uh, that's coming in this year uh, the county decided I believe if memory serves me right not to raise taxes and now you have the school board that's lowering taxes, so it's going to help some people in some cities, of some of the four cities in the county, like Venice. This has been Frankie Abrazino. Well, it's going to help, but how is it going to help with schools? That's where we're struggling, folks. They don't have enough money to build the schools now. And that's why I was all shocked to see that they were lowering it, because they're struggling to find the money to pay for those two additional schools they need. Actually, I think it's more, I think the two high schools, and then I think there's a middle school or elementary down towards Northport that they were looking at doing. Okay, this has been Frankie Abrazino with The Scoop News.